Hey guys, welcome back to Zell DIY. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Wacom Intuos Pro that I just got and I'm really looking forward to this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. into its pro and the main reason why I got this is because over the summer I'm gonna have a lot of free time and I want to get back into graphic design and in the past when I've used the Adobe suite I found this board to be really helpful now let's go ahead and unbox this let's take a look at what's in the box first we have a USB cord but the board also has a Bluetooth option which I plan on using we have a pen holder which also has replacement nibs on the inside, instructions manual, and a pen. Going back to the board, let's unwrap it. As you can see, this is where the pen holder is. And then we just twist it open and pull it out. These are all the replacement pen nibs. And this is a very heavy metal plate. Now for the pen, which can sit right in the stand. Let's go ahead and try to set this board up. So I need to go to wacom.com slash start to set up the Bluetooth. I've been using the Wacom Intuos Pro tablet for about a week now, and I just want to share with you guys some things that I've noticed and some things that I really like. The first thing that has been really helpful to me is the Bluetooth connectivity. My old one, you could only use a wire and it was just a lot more of a hassle, but the Bluetooth works seamlessly, it connects every time, it's super fast, but if you would prefer to use the wire, you also have that option. Another thing that I really like about this tablet is, as you can see, there are all these buttons on the side that you can actually customize to do whatever you want. This middle button turns it on and off and allows it to wirelessly connect to your computer. This dial zooms your picture in and out, and then you have these six other buttons which you can customize to do whichever shortcuts you want. One of them I have customized so that it'll take me directly to settings, and another one will change the feature of my pen that I'm in so that I can get more precision. Another thing you can customize is the pen itself. You have two buttons, and one of them I've customized to do double click, and the other one I've customized to do right click. And this is just really simple because this way you don't have to be going back and forth between your mouse and your pen and your tablet. You just have it all in one place, and it's super convenient. And if you make a mistake, there's an eraser on the opposite end. The third thing that I want to talk about with this tablet is portability. The active workspace is 6x4, which for me is the perfect size. I've not run into any issues, and it's super great for carrying around with you because it's portable and substantial, so I don't feel like I'm going to break it, and it just feels high quality. The fourth thing worth mentioning is the pressure levels. This tablet has over 8,000, which is a lot more compared to the other tablets, which just gives it a lot more variety and makes your pen more accurate so you can change the opacity, the thickness, the thinness, and just customize all that depending on how much pressure you're applying. Overall, I give this tablet a big thumbs up, and you should give this video a two. But the main thing that I've been using it for is color blocking people cartoons, which I've been seeing get really popular on Instagram and Pinterest. And if you guys want to learn how to make them, you should tune back here on Friday for a little tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like and subscribe down below. Also, ring the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. See you guys on Friday. Bye. Mwah.